I used to work at his shop selling clothes for middle-aged women. It was fucking shit, bruv. I hated it. Women's clothes. Me. Big guy with a beard like this selling women's clothes. I was bored as hell. I had no interest in it. There was one specific time of the year that I used to hate, and that was the sales. The sales turn people into animals. There's something about those little red signs that make people lose their shit. You wouldn't believe some of the things I've seen, man. You ain't been on the shop floor. You might have been on the streets. You ain't been on the shop floor. There was always one customer that would come in during the sales that you knew would make your life hell. From the moment she walked in, she was rude, obnoxious, annoying. These look good. I want to try these ones on. Like she was them. roaming around like she owned the place. How is this made? It looks like it's dirty, but I'll take it if it's cheap. Okay. And I just had to be polite to her because I wanted to keep my job. Stop lying to me and get out the back and get me more. If you've ever worked in retail, you know the kind of person I'm talking about, man. The one that takes out all the stuff that's gone bad in their life on you. <laughs> it went from bad to worse when she started trying on shoes. <sighs> Perhaps she'd like to try a bigger size, madam. <sighs> Perhaps you will now spend your life in the gutter, working in a third-rate clothes shop. <clears throat> Dickhead! I, I, I still think we should go for a size up, possibly. Are you saying I have big feet? I demand to see your manager. How dare you talk to me like that? You can't talk to me like that. I'm a customer. I'm, I'm so sorry, madam. I'm there apologising while she's laying into me. Am I a prick? You are pathetic. At a time, I just let it go. I was just like, whatever. But what I'd wish I'd said is... You are pathetic. Okay, back up. Maybe your dirty, stinking feet are too big for that shoe anyway. Who do you think you are, bruv? Cinderella, I'm not your prince. Let me let you in on a little secret as well, all right? The customer is not always right. Why do you think every shop has a returns desk? You know what, actually, I'm gonna do every salesperson everywhere a little favor. Give me your bag. Hey! Oh, mate. Do you know what? If I could do what I wanted to now, I'd have probably taken out all her money, given it to charity, cut up all her credit cards, smashed up her phone into so many different pieces. Right, anything else, madam? No. No, thank you. That woman was a prick. Moral of the story, if you're gonna piss me off, I'm gonna smash up your phone, bruv.